So if you ever wanted to look at the weather straight from your terminal, today we're going to have a look at a way to do just that. Let's have a look. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today, as you heard from the intro, we're going to have a look at a way to look at the weather. So to do this, we're going to be using a little tool called curl, which should be installed on basically every Linux distribution. Pretty much it's a tool to let you transfer data to and from a server. So nothing too special there. I could do an entire video just talking about curl, but that's not the main focus of today's video. So what we're going to be using curl in particular for is to use the website, or I guess application? I don't know, the definitions between the two have gotten a little fuzzy in the recent years, but we're going to be using a thing called WTCR.IN. And as you can see, that lets me bring up my local weather. So we can also use this and provide it with a location. So say I want to look at the weather in Brisbane, for example, then we can just do slash Brisbane at the end of WTTR.IN and we let that load and I don't know why my computer's been a bit slow today but we get Brisbane's weather and as you can see it is much nicer than what it is here I kinda wanna be in Brisbane right now so another thing we can do with this if you noticed in the bottom corner down here I have my current weather and the way that I've done this is you can provide WTTRIN I don't know why I keep saying the full name but you can provide it with a query string. So say I want my local weather, so we can go back to Adelaide, and we can say format, and I think it is equals and then one. That is one of their default, yeah, okay, here we go. So they've got a bunch of default formats. So I don't have a font that supports the little Unicode symbol that appears next to the weather sign, but I think they've got a zero one. No, okay, they don't but they've got a format 2 which provides some extra stuff and a format 3 and the problem with these is that I just don't have the the Unicode symbols in my current font set to use them and I don't particularly care about using symbols in my any of my displays anyway so the way that I've set this up is so we can go into my scripts folder in i3 weather so basically I run curl with the t, h, and p commands. So let's see if we come out here and go t plus h plus p. Make sure you rem to make sure you remember to include the percentage signs, otherwise it's not going to work. And we run that, and it just displays the current temperature, the humidity, and the precipitation. And as you notice, I have the temp, uh, humidity, and precipitation right next to them. That's just done with a simple awk, and that's nothing special. I just take in whatever the current weather is, and then just awk in the different arguments for it. And as you notice, this, this little bit of the script here, basically what this does is occasionally they will run out of weather queries, so I'd rather, instead of it saying unable to find the weather or whatever it was going to say, I think it says, I think with formatting it kind of breaks and says unknown location, if I remember correctly. So we grep unknown and we count how many times that appears. And if it doesn't appear, then the weather's working. If it does, then I'm just printing weather unavailable. So if you do have Unicode symbols, then I guess you could display those with it. But personally, I'm not a big fan of them. But yeah, I think that might be pretty much everything for this video. Uh, yeah, this is a fairly fairly simple tool that lets you show the weather for just random places you're interested in. Let's say, well, what's another one? Why can I not think of places off the top of my head? Let's say you want the weather in London. There you go, London's weather. Also much nicer than right here. I don't know why everywhere is much nicer than right here right now. Anyway, so I think that's pretty much everything for the video, so if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. And yeah, I, I enjoy covering little tools like this that just simplify my life and just let me do some cool stuff with the terminal, I guess. So yeah, that is pretty much everything, so I reckon that I'm out.